OK, so that favourite bait of the sea angler, the good old mackerel. Mackerel, really easy to come by. You can feather them out in the summer months, stick them in the freezer for, for later on in the year. Um, obviously, these, these are blast frozen shot bought mackerel, but these are absolutely fine, really good condition mackerel. First thing we're going to do is pop the pack open. OK. Now, the first thing I will say is, someone was a bit silly this morning and left the, uh, the fillet and knife at home and the, uh, the cutting board. But thankfully, we've got a good flat platform here and we've got a Leatherman multi-tool. I mean, these things are great. Always come in handy if you've left something at home like I have today. Now, first thing we're going to do is just hold back the pectoral fin straight down the side and we're going to take off a fillet. As I say, knife's a little bit on the small side, but it's going to be sufficient to, uh, to illustrate what we're doing here. I'm just going to go straight up like that and take the fillet off. So there you can see, nice tough fillet of mackerel. Beautiful looking bait. Now, that's a big bait for one fish, but if we're fishing for big fish, if you're after conger, huss, tope, anything like that, this is absolutely perfect. Here we go then. So we're going to have some big hooks because it's a big bait. Always match your bait to your hook size. Really important that actually. And all I'm going to do is nick it in the end and out through there. You can tell it's good quality bait because the skin actually takes a bit of getting through. Now we're just going to sort of push on the mackerel like this just to. to Try and form a, a sort of a rough sausage shape. Obviously, you're not quite going to achieve that, but just makes it a bit easier when it comes to uh, applying the bait elastic. So here's our elastic. And we're going to go round. Just start it off like that. We're then going to pull the hook up through a little bit more, so it's standing proud. Really important to get your hooks uh, standing proud of your bait, actually. You see a lot of guys miss bites. Um, because the, the hook points become masked by the bait and the bait elastic. So we're going to avoid that. And plenty of elastic on there. And we're going to work our way up over the, the shank of the hook onto the trace. Uh, in this instance, a wire trace, big hooks, big bait, wire trace. You know, we're going big. This isn't your average uh, day at the seaside sort of bait. This is when you're out on the rocks at night targeting a decent sized fish. Right, so now we've come to the, uh, the top hook of the panel and all I'm going to do, I'm not actually going to put that through the bait at all. I'm just going to continue wrapping the elastic round up the shank of the hook and just the other side of the eye there. And we're going to put plenty around there so lock that in place nice and securely. OK, and then we're going to come the other side again. And all the while we're going to sort of manipulate the bait, just to try and make it as straight as possible. Um, you can use a short section of 18-gauge uh, stainless wire alongside the, the bait, just to give it a bit of support as you're, you're baiting it up. Um, but that's pretty much done now, I reckon. We're a little bit more around the bends there, just to stop it from sliding around. Put it up tight. And there you have it. As I say, that's a big bait. It's not the sort of thing you're going to be using every day. No good for fishing for dogfish in a match or any, any species with small mouth. This is a big bait for big fish. And um, yeah, looks good enough to eat, I reckon.